What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another video and for today's video we are going to be discussing the Exorcist Believer trailer. Yes, it's out. It's currently, I think, premiering before Oppenheimer if you go check out that film, but it's actually the trailer is on YouTube now. I'll have the link in the description so you can check it out just in case you haven't seen it. And yes, today we're going to discuss my thoughts on the Exorcist the Believer, all my feelings on the team behind it, what my expectations are and all that kind of stuff and what the trailer is did for me after I watched it. Are my feelings heightened or am I just not feeling it anymore? So let's discuss this. Roll it. So Exorcist the Believer drops on October 13th of this year. Yes, that's a Friday the 13th happening in October. I'm very excited for that. But yes, it's going to be actually, I just noticed this too when I was doing research on it, that it's going to be dropping on Peacock and it's going to be in theaters on the same day for release date. So I actually don't even have to go to the theaters to check this one out because I have Peacock. So that'll probably be like my nighttime watch. We'll be watching Exorcist the Believer that night, you know what I mean, after the kiddos lay down and stuff. So... For me, that's one thing that I was like, I kind of feel that's a positive for me because I'm able to. I wasn't really hyped on it to go to the theaters to check it out. I kind of wanted to. I was thinking about doing it, but it wasn't going to be like first day, first weekend thing. But, you know, I pay for Peacock. I have that subscription, so why not take advantage of that? So I'll be checking it out that night on Peacock and watching it. And in terms of the trailer as itself, you know, kind of shows us the setup for the story, you know, that it's. 50, I believe, yeah, it's 50 years later after that original film. We have two girls who go missing their friends and then they show up three days later, you know, after their parents and the town is looking for them and they, something happened to them when they were lost in the woods. They brought back something with them, demonic. And as far as the trailer sets it up to be, because we have, of course, everybody knows this already, you know, Ellen Birdston's coming back, you know, and so... We have that setup that I think this is supposed to be the same demon Pazuzu as the first film. That's what I'm guessing because this is going to be a requel. This is ignoring all the other films, Exorcist 2, The Heretic, and Exorcist 3, which is really good. And then all the other films, they're going to be ignored. So this is the direct sequel to that first film is what they're treating it as. And in terms of setting it up and the story and everything, like I'm kind of interested in the fact that it's two girls being possessed. There's some really cool imagery in the trailer. I was happy about that. There, there are actually some really cool imageries and some awesome shots. The use of the music and everything and stuff. But in terms of what I'm worried about for this film is mainly that they kind of already setting themselves up to have three films. You know what I mean? And the fact that David Gordon Green has that I want to say like kind of cockiness to just come in and be like yeah we're gonna make three exorcist films they're gonna be direct sequels to that first film you know what I mean just kind of announcing it right away kind of just oh it felt like just very cocky of him to do that and I'm not saying they can't nail it I'm not saying David Gordon Green can't do it but a lot of people are not really trusting him right now because of what he did with the Halloween franchise you know he recently him and his team the writing team behind this film and, you know, David Gordon Green as the director, we're all behind, you know, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends. A lot of people were unhappy with how that trilogy came out. And for him to grab the Exorcist property, which I believe they all had to pay like 300, 400 million dollars to have this property Blumhouse. And that's, the, that's how much they paid for it. And for David Gordon Green to come out, get the directing chair job, and just right away announce pretty much like few months after he got the job that they're going to be doing three of these films so I thought that was kind of bold and we're going to see how that lands. One thing that does look cool from the trailer I must say is the special effects all the gore effects or whatever you know just the look of the design of the trailer I had no problem with that stuff that looks really cool but in terms of my heightened you know am I heightened after seeing this trailer my excitement or has it lowered it's kind of about the same this trailer didn't really do anything negative to, from, for me to be like, oh, I don't want to see that like at all. It didn't do anything like that for me, but it didn't heighten my excitement at all either because when it comes to possession films and exorcism films, we've gotten to this very kind of cookie cutter way of doing things. And this one seems very, very painfully basic. And I mean that in like, it could be, it could be okay. It could be a very safe Requel, you know what I mean? And maybe they're saving all the crazy stuff for the second and third film, and that's where David Gordon Green's really going to take the risks and kind of 
you know, split the fan base and everything, but in terms of this first film and the trailer, the vibes I'm getting from the trailer and everything they're talking about it, it looks like it's going to be a very safe kind of requel. We already know, like I said, the mother's coming back, Ellen Bernstein's coming back, but also Linda Blair is confirmed that she's coming back for this film. I believe she did a couple days of shooting on set, so I don't know if it's like flashback stuff or what she filmed, but she is going to be in some scenes in this movie. But in terms of, like I said, the trailer, the vibes, it didn't do anything. I'm just kind of in the same boat, you know what I mean, And in terms of excitement wise. So as you can tell, from my expectations, they're kind of just middle of the road expectations. I think this is going to be a very, in terms of what I'm predicting, it's going to be a very safe requel. We know David Gordon Green already loves nostalgia, so he loves bringing back the characters from the original film. Like he brought back Laurie Strode for 2018. You know, we're bringing back that nostalgia. There's a lot of the same kind of imagery you get in exorcism films. The dialogue was not like impressive. It's to me, it didn't. It wasn't like offensive or like awful. It just wasn't impressive. Like I said, it just seemed very middle of the road. So that's what I'm predicting is that this is going to be a very middle of the road exorcist requel that you know isn't going to do much to excite the fans for the second one of the third film. So we'll see how it lands. I'm pretty sure they're going to make their money back horror films regardless because they're able to do this thing where they spend a certain amount of money and then their return is you know they return very well you know it's not very often a horror film flops at the theaters but we'll see with this one because it's going straight to peacock on the same day so i don't know how that's going to affect the box office plus i believe they said exorcist deceiver which is already the second film they already announced the title for that Deceiver is supposed to go straight to Peacock, I think. It's not even going to have a theater release. So there's some like there's some weird signs. There's signs that this isn't going to do very good at all. And in terms of that, I'm like, why did you pay so much money for this property if you're not going to treat it right? So I don't know. That There's some signs that say it's not going to do good. But then there's some signs of hope. So it's really hard to tell how this is going to go down and everything. But yeah, like I said, I'm very middle of the ground, you know, on this film. We'll find out when it comes out in terms of expectations. If it does surprise me, if it really reaches a different level in terms of storytelling and getting you to care about these characters or getting you excited for the sequel. Because this film obviously isn't going to have a clear cut resolution, I think. You know what I mean? I don't feel like it will because we know we're getting two more films. And I hope there's some stakes in this movie. Like, I need people to die. I'm tired of having possession films where it's like they, they get possessed, they do the exorcism, and people get injured and stuff happens. Or it's like, you know, maybe like, oh, an animal died or something. But it's not, there's no ever, like, stakes, I feel, in exorcism films sometimes. And I feel like this one, they need to have something happen, like something really major. But we'll see. We're going to see what David Gordon Green and his writing team, you know, Danny McBride and I believe Scott Teams and all them. We're going to see, or Scott Themes, I'm sorry if I butchered that name. We're going to see what they have in store for us on October 13th of this year. And please let me know in the comments section because these are just my thoughts, my opinions on the film. Like I said, it's just uh, middle of the ground. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. I have hopes for it. But not high hopes. I'm not trying to get my expectations blown up or anything. So let's discuss in the comments. And like I said, if you haven't seen the trailer, it's down below in the, descri in the description box. So you can click on that link and go watch it and let me know your thoughts on it. But be sure to like, subscribe, have that notification bell poked too as well. So you're notified anytime I post videos. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.